Next, Wolfram Research, one of the most amazing apps ever, huge in science, engineering, finance, and obviously education as well, Mathematica. My pleasure to welcome Tao Gray, one of the founders of Wolfram Research. Tao? So some of you may be asking yourself, what, what actually is Mathematica? Uh, it's a little, a little hard to pin down. I like to think that uh, what a word processor is to writing, uh, Mathematica is to the whole world of technical computing. So when you sit down in front of a word processor, it's not going to tell you what you can write today. That's, that's your job. And when you sit down in front of Mathematica, it doesn't tell you what you can think today. You could uh, model a stock price, you could do an integral, you could write a program to analyze DNA sequences, you could generate an animation. It's an open box. It's sort of an invitation to explore, just like the Macintosh, for example, uh, which is why we've always worked over many years to make sure that Mathematica is available for the latest Apple technology from the Mac Plus to uh, PowerPC and now OS X. And it's, it's, a, it's thrilling to be able to say that we've been shipping a no compromises, fully native Mathematica for a couple months now on OS X. It's, it's, it's really great. Let me show you some of the things it can do. Uh, if it's here. Very good. So, of course, given the name, people often think of math. Don't know why. Um, let me show you. This is an integral. This is all live. Now, this is, uh, we'll do uh, integral of 1 over 1 minus x to the fifth. Boom. You get that. And look at, I mean, okay, so it's math, but look at the typography on that. I mean, it, it's just, it's like everything looks better in OS X, even that. Um, and is this useful to calculus students? Absolutely. At, as I say, the homework of the world doesn't stand a chance. Um, <laughs> the other thing it's good for is, uh, is Dave Barry columns, actually. He recently had what I believe is the world's only known integrals joke. And in case you didn't get it, there you go. Um, he actually had that in his column. Um, but seriously, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. This is a six-character input, six type, you know, six letters, and you get this is a, a approximately 35,000-digit number. Um, it's not that big, but the point is. Um, it's pretty typical in the kinds of things that people do with Mathematica that a very small input will, will use a, just an open-ended amount of memory. It's hard to predict. You never know. It could be hundreds of megabytes. And that's one of the really nicest things about OS X, that however much memory you need, you got it. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and in fact, a, a good example of that is animations. They take a huge amount of memory to generate and to render. And uh, for the past couple of weeks, I've been making some up for you to see today. And I've been doing that not on some big server, but on my own little power book in the background while I was doing everything else that I needed to do for the past couple of weeks. There is no way I would try that on any other operating system, because uh, these calculations need to run for days without failing. Um, <laughs> so let me show you this one. This is the electric potential around a wireframe in the shape of an icosahedron. These are the integrals that. Uh, <laughs> Somewhere down here, we'll get to the animation. Here we go. Um, hello. There we go. So uh, this would have been incredibly useful to people designing vacuum tubes. It's just kind of a pity that the <laughs> I had to wait for the invention of the transistor and Macintosh and Mathematica and all that. Um, but but look at the look at the translucency and the, the sort of texturing there. That's the quartz rendering engine at work. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. Let me, in fact, show you now a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, on the left is what you'd see on you know, Windows or anything other than, than quartz. And on the right is the same data rendered with quartz. Let me now sh slow it down for you uh, so you can see a little better. And you know, just look at the, the smoothness and the sort of uh, That's what you call world-class anti-aliasing. Only in quartz, only in OS X. And uh, we've been waiting 
for a long time for an operating system like OS 10 to come along to really let Mathematica shine. And thanks a lot to Steve. Uh, come visit us, wolfram.com. You can see all our products from student version through web servers. Thank you very Thank much. You,